Hey, what's good, YouTube? Name with Mass Collector. Um, back with a new video unboxing here. Um, I just got a new shipment in from uh, BCW Supplies for some of their collectible card bins, which hold up to 3,200 raw cards. Uh, this, this box is huge. So this is my new filming area. Um, I'm downstairs now in my house and I have this huge six foot wide table top that I'm gonna do all my projects and stuff on now. One box. Jesus well, they package it up really nice. There's this box inside of it and this box inside of it. And it looks like they come in cases of four, which it says on the side of this box here. So we'll see. Um, so today is March 30th, and if you guys follow the hobby at all, you'll probably have heard that PSA stopped accepting all submissions besides Super Express and same day type of thing. So, um, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens because this type of thing, almost exactly the same thing happened last year, but under different circumstances where PSA closed down because of COVID, so did BGS. But SGC marketed, we're open, send us your cards. We'll do it, you know, fast turnaround times and all this stuff. Well, SGC recently caught up with their backlog and they've been marketing the shit out of it saying, um, you know, 20 day turnarounds or less, 25 bucks a card, um, send us your cards, backlogs suck, we've got this thing figured out. We'll see what happens now, because with PSA being shut down until July, they're not gonna take any, any of the value, regular economy, or express orders until July 1st is when they think they'll be able to open up all of those submission categories again. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens with SGC because you know damn well they're gonna get bombarded with submissions this week. But PSA said that they have gotten more, let me see how this slides. PSA said that they have gotten more cards in the last in the last three days or the first three days of March what do they say I'm trying to think of I'm trying to remember the email I think it said something like we've received more cards in the last three days than we have in the first three months of the year which is crazy to think about so I got these because one I have a lot of stuff in my basement and I have an old house, it's 110 years old. It's got an old rock wall kind of foundation on it. So it gets pretty damp down here um, when it rains. Springtime especially, everything starts to thaw out. So um, I got dehumidifiers and stuff going down here, but I have everything off the floor in case any type of flooding or anything happens. And um, trying to limit as much cardboard as possible. So I picked up these to kind of switch these out with the cardboard ones that I have right now, just so they don't suck up any moisture. So I actually have, so I have six in this order. And then I also have five other ones on order that I put on order with some other items that were on back order. And then they wait until um, everything's in, in stock before they ship it. So kind of give you guys an idea what we got here. So this is a really good picture of it. You can put cards in the front of these things, which is really cool. Um, it's got some divide, dividers in it, which I think these are actually on back order. I ordered a bunch of those. 
this is really, this is kind of what sold it for me right here. Um, I think these are about $35 a piece if you buy it in bulks of four or more. And the reason why they do four is because that's what you get in a case. They can just grab it off the shelf, ship it out instead of breaking down boxes. So uh, acid-free plastic, super rigid, four partitions included, additional partitions sold separately, identification slots for each row. So obviously you can put cards in there. You can put, um, you know, your magic or Pokemon cards in there, or you can put a, a card with, you know, the name of the set or whatever you want to do. Um, secure sliding locks on top and it holds sleeve cards, top loaders and magnetic. So this is not for storing your, your graded cards. I'm sure you could flip them on their sides and you could stack them in there that way, but we'll, we'll see. I got some graded cards down here we can check out. These are new. I think they just came out with these recently because I did not see them on the last order last year when I did it which I'm still waiting for those semi-rigid things to show up that I ordered last August. So here's the locks. Um, they lock the top in place, okay? So here's our slides. You gotta open up the top to put, put things in the, in, the, in the windows here. These are called the Card Bin 3200s. Um, it's really nice, stackable, so you have your, your indentations on here. So you're gonna get, you can stack it that way. All right, so again, here's the locks. And then you just open up your side like this, your top like that, and then this thing folds over. So you could just leave it like that, and get whatever you need out of there one at a time. Or you can flip it on its side and you can wrap these around and it can sit on on them so you can actually have them stacked like this inside of your shelf or whatever so that's really neat the way that they designed this thing um, there are indentations right here so i think that's what these are for is to try to you know somewhat line up with those there we go that so then they're locked into place on the on the edges and then these are just top loaders so for your windows in the front they're just uh you know 20 point 30 point whatever top loaders which is like that's kind of neat you definitely have room on either side um based on what i can see here so like if you had a uh a team bag or something like that on there that might help but no i'm pretty impressed with these these are cool so let me get some cards and we'll see how they uh they stack in here so first off i have um here's some graded cards but just to kind of show you what kind of my old Devin Funches stuff um it's too wide to fit that way but you could you could stack them and they're like that and then if here are the partitions right here in, in the middle. So, you know, you could put graded cards in like that. There's some more Devin Funch, Funches. Here are uh, top loaders. These are from recent mail day stuff. Uh, been kind of waiting on these to show up. I get used to this new uh, setup here. Um, it won't, it will not hold uh, card saver ones straight up and down. Man, a little bit taller would be, and a little bit wider would be, be, it would work. But you could do the uh, on its side type of thing as well. I also have like raw cards. And here are some uh, mags. It'll fit just perfect, just right to the top. And you could do raw. I mean, you got quite the gap on either side there. Kind of do what you got to do.
So yeah, back to uh, SGC and PSA. Um, I mean, good on PSA for, you know, this is what we got to do to get caught up and there's no way around it. So we're just suspending submissions for a while. I can totally see that, I get it. Functions. Get any room in there or not? But SGC is going to get absolutely buried, and um, I don't wish ill on anybody. But man, they sure opened up their big mouth a little too soon. Like, I think they're screwed. I think they're gonna get so busy with everything right now that they're not gonna, they're gonna have to eat crow again. Here's uh, these Kobe Bryant mag magnets. So at some point I'll, I'll have to actually go through all this and organize it better. I'm just kind of showing you guys how easy it is to kind of just put some stuff in here, you know? Look at that, baby. A lot of cards in there. Yeah, I could use about, you know, well, five more partitions in here would be perfect if they would just give you eight to start out. So that's that. Got them in here. Pick up one side, pull that out. that all the other side and we're gonna lock it lock it and they're in there so pretty good weight to it but yeah so the uh, card bin 3200 count um, card bin it's pretty cool um, it's really nicely made looks good I love the top loader slides in the front that's gonna be really neat let's put something in there actually so just throw some sea wood on the front it's pretty that's pretty neat so I like them. Um, I got five more here now and I got five more on order. So I'm pretty pumped to have these. They're gonna look great on the shelf. Um, these windows on the front are just awesome. Um, I love it. So the only thing now I need, just need more partitions possibly to help sort some of these things out a little bit better. And then other than that, you know, I definitely recommend these things. And um, you know, I'm not being paid by BCW or or anything of that nature you know it's not a paid promotion but um i would definitely check it out so i'm, I'm not sponsored by bcw by any means um i just wanted to give a review of my honest opinion of these things and i like them a lot so the fact that you can stack them they're not going to slide around you can see what's in them on the outside instead of just a marker you know on the outside of a box or something of that nature um, holds top loaders great uh, mags you can put graded cards on their side and stack them in there no problem so it pretty much holds everything raw cards too there's a little bit more space there but you know as long as you got partitions or something holding them up against the wall some some uh pressure you'll, you'll be good to go so um yeah two thumbs up on these things for sure this is really cool so uh, if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a comment um 
give it a thumbs up and uh, also you know think about subscribing to the uh, to my channel that would be great I go through all kinds of different sports card stuff just take a look at my playlist on my channel you'll see everything that I'm kind of into and then also um, hit the bell for notifications and um, that'll that'll ping you when um, I drop new videos and um, thanks guys for checking it out and we'll see you in the next one later.